In this demonstration, I'll be showing you how to insert a picture, insert a text box, and also introduce you to text wrapping. For this, I'm going to be using this pre-formatted uh, science lesson for elementary students. And in a previous demonstration, I showed how to insert word art. What I would now like to do is insert a graphic. Uh, in this case, a picture from my files that I thought might be a nice illustration for the lesson for my elementary school students. To begin with, I am going to click in my document and I'm gonna click right here. And uh, what I need to do now is go up to the toolbar ribbon to insert, to insert picture from the illustrations group. When I do this, it pulls up a folder and it typically goes into your uh, user pictures file. And I know for a fact that my picture is here stored right now in my Microsoft Clip Organizer. I'm gonna click here and I'm going to select the file that I would like to insert. I then go down here to insert. You can see it's now inserted my picture. Now, right now my picture is activated and I can tell that because it has these dotted lines plus these blue squares in the corner. Those are your picture handles. Another thing is if I click anywhere else, you'll see those handles disappear. To turn them back on, I click on my picture. Uh, when I do click away, you'll notice that the toolbar up here changes a little bit. Pay attention to this when I click back on my picture, as when I do that, the Picture Tools tab and Picture Tools Format tab become um, available again. There's lots of options that you can do with this Picture Tools Format tab and all the individual groups. There's a fair amount that you can play with. We'll talk about that in a later demo. In particular right now though, I've got this picture. I'm not really happy with where it's been placed. What I would like to do is position this differently in my document. To do this, I'm gonna go up here to the Picture Tools Format tab, Position, click down, and I would really like to have my, doc my picture right about here. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna click on that. And now, just to double check and see if I really like uh, the way it looks with my whole document, what I'm gonna do is now click to my View tab, to my One Page Zoom. Ah, look at that. I like the way that looks. I'm now gonna go back to 100%. Nice. So that's one thing. Now, sometimes you might not want the text to be so close to your picture. In this case, what you're going to want to look at is what we call text wrapping. Now, the best way to work on text wrapping for a picture is, I'm gonna click on the picture, go back up to my picture tools format tab to this text wrapping uh, option under the arrange group. If I click the down arrow, you'll see it gives me several options. Right now, this is what is called square. That means there's a square box around my picture and that my text cannot go within that. Other options would be, I could even put this picture behind the text. Now, that would be almost like a watermark. That might be useful in some situations, but not right now. So instead, I'm going to look at maybe putting uh, my text Top to bottom, eh, not exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, maybe tight, I kind of like that one. Sometimes tight and the square option can look a lot alike, but as you get to start to play around with different text wrapping options, you'll get more familiar to what they each individually do. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Now. Another thing that I would like to do is, here in my directions, right about here, I have a tip that I would like people to be aware of when they're working on this science lesson. I'm going to highlight this text and put it in what I would like to call a call-out box or a highlighted box 
This is what Word calls a text box. To do this, I'm going to first, again, highlight my text, go up to Insert, and over here under Text, you'll see a text box option. I'm going to click on this and, whoa, there's a whole bunch of options. Uh, you can do a lot of those, but I right now have some highlighted text. What I'd really like to do is just have it draw a text box around my highlighted text. I'm going to click here and voila. You will see that now I've got this text box and check this out. If I click on the highlighted text box and drag it around, I can drag this to anywhere in my document. Again, I wanted this to be a highlighted uh, detail, so I'm going to move it to right about here, and I'd really like now to edit my text box. Uh, once again, if I click off, you'll see it has a border around it. If I click on it with these uh, this crosshairs, if I click on it, the handles come back, and the text box tools shows up at the top with formatting tab again. Now, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my box with a little bit of color. To do this, I can look down here and see lots of fancy options. Um, I'm kind of liking this faded orange. You can see it's uh, got an option there with a gradient. I'm going to click on that. That looks pretty nice. Another thing I can do is change the color of the outline. Maybe I want something a little more bold. Click that. I can even change the weight of my outline to something like that. Last but not least, I can even change the shape. Maybe I don't want a rectangle. Maybe I want ooh, this. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. If I want to edit the text, I click right in it. Hit return. Ooh, looks like it disappeared. Well, what I need to do here is actually stretch my text box just by clicking and dragging. Click in here. I am going to uh, now change the alignment. To do that, uh, what I can do is right click. And right here, this text dialog box can help me change my alignment. I can now resize. That looks like a great little visual. And again, I want this to be something obvious for people to see. I'm going to click that. And last but not least, again, I want to check my text wrapping options. And I'd like this to be tight with all my text. That's looking pretty good. So now to view. The whole thing again, I'm going to look at it in a one-page format. Ah, uh, that's looking a lot better than when we first started. And that's my demo on how to insert a picture, how to create a text box, a very simple text box, and also a little bit about text wrapping.